केस में हमारे पास दो स्ट्रिंग है एक स्ट्रिंग ये और दूसरा स्ट्रिंग हो गया ये ओके सो वी विल फॉलो स्टेप्स स्टेप वन जो है यू हैव टू ब्रेक द स्ट्रिंग इनटू सेगमेंट्स स्टेप टू जो है असाइन डिस्प्लेसमेंट्स एंड स्टेप थ्री जो है अपना चेंज इन लेंथ निकालना है एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा ओके सो इफ वी स्टार्ट ओके यू से दिस पुल ई गोस बाई टू मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर सो इस पुली को हम मानते हैं कि ये ए डैश मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर नीचे जा रहा है ओके लेट अस थिंक ऑफ इट देन वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए ओके सो स्टार्ट विथ से द सेगमेंट स्टेप वन में हम इस वाले स्ट्रिंग के दो सेगमेंट खींचते हैं ओके सो अपर एंड ऑफ द सेगमेंट इज स्टेशनरी लोअर एंड मूव द पुली so we can say as the pulley moves with 2 meter per second square we write 2 meter per second square here okay so this end will also start moving at 2 meter per second square okay what about the other end the other end of this segment is connected to a movable pulley which is moving with a dash okay so this end we have a dash as its acceleration okay so if we talk about the value of a dash we can find it from here okay so when we try expressing the change in length here so you can say it is just 2 meter per second square whereas for this it is 2 minus a okay and then we have to add the total change and make it zero gives me a dash is equal to 4 meter per second square so this is a dash okay now if we talk about the second string okay so for second string we can draw three segments okay so 1 2 3 okay three straight line segments the upper ends of all three are stationary okay the lower ends of two strings are connected with a movable pulley so both of them are moving with a dash a dash okay and the third end here is moving along with the block with acceleration a okay so if we start writing the changes so we have minus a for this leftmost plus a dash for the middle and plus a dash for the left one and total has to be zero which gives a is equal to 2 a dash which is 8 meter per second square okay so we now have a slightly more complicated version of the string constraints okay, compared to the previous one here say we are writing two equations for two different strings okay since each string is inextensible on its own constraint equations have to be written independently for each equations if you have three strings you have to write three different constraint equations and finally you have to eliminate certain values which you don't require